already so I just wanted to do a quick little video to do on this 23 month update I have no words I'm serious this time about her turning two next month I mean what the heck seriously when did this happen who said this was okay that's what I would like to know because I did not approve her growing up this fast <laughs> so she is gonna be two in less than a month wow she is doing so good I just am astounded at how much she is growing how much she's changing it's crazy she is such a chatterbox she talks in pretty much you know shortened sentences um she can really communicate with you what she's trying to say what she wants from you she speaks relatively clearly um i just i cannot believe it she's so grown up you guys um new things for the month let's see we moved her into two teeth clothing and size four diapers she is still sleeping in her crib. We are talking about transitioning to a toddler bed probably within the next month and a half. She has been giving us some issues at bedtime over the past couple of days where she doesn't want to go to sleep. She's throwing tantrums and so we're, we're not quite ready until we can kind of work through some of those things to put her into a bed. But I did find a toddler bed that we wanted to get her. Her crib does convert to a toddler bed, but we're going to opt to go with just getting her her own toddler bed so that she can stay in it longer. Um, so I'm excited about that, even though she's going to be a big girl. It's, it's going to be weird to see her in like a bed bed. <laughs> um... She's doing really good with, like I said, talking. She knows all of her letters, all of their sounds. She can identify her letters by sight. When you show her a flashcard of the letter, she can tell you the letter and then we'll, she'll tell you the sound too. Um, she does get a little silly here and there, even though she knows the answer. Her favorite letter right now is W for some reason. So when we're doing flashcards with her at night, she tries to be funny and she says everything with a W, but she knows it's not. She just looks at you like W, like it's funny. So she's really, really good at that. Um, she's doing good with her numbers. We're working with her. She can count to five pretty much by herself. And we're working with her all the way to 10. We're starting with um, colors and shapes and different things like that. So just, you know, continuing to add on to her skill set and her, you know, early learning. Um, she still really loves books. She loves Dolly. She's obsessed with dolls oh my gosh everything is dolly dolly this dolly dolly that she's obsessed with the kitchen that we got her for christmas and she is really starting to get into her little people toys which is a lot of fun because i think they're adorable <laughs> um, but she really loves her little people princess castle as well as the clip clap stable that we got for her those are some of her favorite things right now um, food wise she's still a really good eater she tends to be picky sometimes like at night usually when she's trying to get something else over what I'm giving her for dinner like if she wants a snack um but she's actually done really really well with eating she still does really good at daycare every day she never you know creates any issues with our daycare people about what they serve her and they serve all variety of everything there for her so I think that's a good thing that it kind of exposes her to other things and it's her only option so if she doesn't eat it she doesn't get lunch um I'm trying to think of what else. Potty training. I forgot to talk about this in our last video. So currently with her right now, she is 100% poopy potty trained. She will not poop in her diaper anymore. We've got her completely done on that. The only time she does poop in her diaper is at night or during nap, like when she's asleep or wakes up. Other than that, she's really good about giving me the signals that she needs to go poop on the potty. We are working with her on going potty in the potty she understands that she's gone potty after the fact <laughs> so she'll tell me ick or potty after she's peed in her diaper so I've been trying to work with her on telling me before so we're not really trying to get her like off diapers here within the next you know one to two months so we've just kind of slowly began the transition and it's gone really well so far she's really she loves going on the potty. She thinks it's funny. She gets rewarded. She's like, I'm a big girl. So it's gone really, really well so far. So I think that as she gets closer, my goal would be to have her completely potty trained by two and a half. I would feel like that's 
probably a realistic and ideal goal for us. So I think by the time we get there, she's going to be doing really, really well with it. Um, I don't know what else is really there is to say. We're planning her second birthday. Um, I did share with our Facebook page, who if you follow us there, a little sneak peek of her invitation. The theme that we're going for this year is going to be two twos and ties. So like two, two, get it? Pretty clever. Uh, but she's obsessed with dance. She is our little dancer. So I thought it'd be really fun to incorporate that girly aspect. Um, I'll probably do like sneak peek videos, um, maybe like one. And then like I did with her first birthday last year, I did like a bunch of videos about everything that we did front to back for the birthday. Um, if you're interested in that, there's a playlist on our channel with all of her first birthday stuff. So I'll do something similar this year. But I'm really excited and it's like a month away. We're going to have it on February 15th. And uh, I just cannot believe she's going to be two. This is so not okay, people. So not okay. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, Emma, you want to come and say hi? No, she's watching the wiggles on iPad, which is like, I cannot stand the wiggles. I This is like, side note, children's music is the worst. <laughs> My husband and I are constantly laughing about how ridiculous these songs are, but she is obsessed with them. On the iPad, we have like the Sprout app and they have all of the most ridiculous children's songs you could ever think of. So anyways, I hope somebody else feels our pain out there because then they're so catchy, they get stuck in your head and you feel like an idiot because you're an adult who's singing these songs out in the random times of the day. And my husband will like text me and he'll be like, I'm singing the song, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, totally random on that, but I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!